All right, welcome back to the YouTube classroom. This is Autodesk 3S Max 2018. Today we are going to be working with bones. Uh, you see, bones are helper objects. They aren't actually vis visible when you create them in the world. So if we go up to our animation tools, we go to bone tools, and then we go to create bones, um, I should be able to create bones right here. Okay, cool. I'm going to hit S for snap. Click here. I'm going to move up to uh, five units. Uh, it doesn't really matter. In my case, it's 50 centimeters. I'm going to create two bones that are the same length. Now, if I hit W, I, or actually E, and make sure I'm on local mode and make sure I'm using pivot point center, I can actually move these bones around and they are automatically linked. Now, if I want to render this, hit F9, you'll notice that you can't see anything. That's because, as I said before, bones are not real. They are helpers. They help move other things like meshes around. But in order to do that, we've got to make sure that those bones are skinned to something. Okay, so a skin is a modifier that we place on a mesh. So let's go ahead and take an object. Um, let's go ahead and take this object here. It's a simple cube. I'll move it over here. I'm going to align it to the bone. The nub's sticking out. That's okay. I'm going to right click on the object, go to object properties, make sure that um, you have show frozen and gray turned off, click OK, hit M for material, maybe, or M for maybe, um, and I'm going to model, make sure that my modeling material is attached to that object so I can see through it. All right, cool. So I can see through it and I can freeze it. Um, I'm actually going to freeze the bone chain. I can double click on the bone itself. Let me get this out of the way. Double click on the bone itself and then put it on its own layer. Generally, um, you will use your own layer for bones, own separate layer. Now, I've actually been using this file over and over and over. So, um, But these bones, I'm going to call, I need to name them as well. So let's go ahead and grab them and name it. So bones are almost always called B underscore this one I'm going to call, I've got the caps lock on, uh, B for bone, uh, top one, there, good, and then if there was a right or left, we'd do that, next, B uh, bottom, and even though it's top and bottom, the you go from the root, the concept is you're going from the root, and then this would be bottom nub. This is called a nub. B bottom nub. All right, good. So we've labeled our stuff, so now we can see it in here. I'm actually going to take all these and put them on their own layer. Um, so add to, like, let's make a new layer, create new layer using those objects. So there we are. I'm going to call this. Come on. Let me rename it. Rename bones. Cool. Now I can freeze them all. Sweet. So I shouldn't be able to select it, which is good because I don't want to select the bones. The mod, the skin modifier is actually a modifier that is based on um, the mesh. So I've got the objects. Uh, I've got the skin object that I'm going to use. Now what I need to do now is I'm going to add the bones I plan on using. So down here under add bones I gotta find my bones and mine are already set up in a hierarchy where the top is apparent to this child which is the bottom and the nub is the child of the bottom so I can just hold shift click those and hit select so those are all the bones in the in my object okay now I can edit envelopes move this over edit envelopes for my object and select where my bones looks like it didn't get it select Oh, maybe it's because they're frozen. 
try it again. Oops, add. All these select. Okay, it's because they were frozen. All right, cool. Now you'll notice that the object turns uh, colors. I should be able to freeze it now and still be able to work on it. So from here, we are actually going to develop and adjust each individual vert. So every single one of these vert vertices, I'm going to turn this envelope thing off because it's moderately annoying. Um, that's display, uh, show no envelopes. There you go. So I can select a bone by selecting one of these yellow lines, and then I can determine how much weight that bone is going to get by adjusting the weight tool. So if I select the bone, I select the vertices, and I can give these vertices have to follow this bone by 100%. So I press 1. All right, and these vertices have to follow this bone by 100%. Press 1. Now the skinning is done because all I had is 8 verts, and they have all been skinned. So from here, I need to start moving the bone to see how it looks. So now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to unfreeze my bones. I'm going to find my... Uh, base item so this is my initial object it's called base okay one this probably should be mesh capital M underscore there all right cool I want to find that and I'm going to freeze it cool so now I'm not going to accidentally mess with it now if I take my bone and rotate it you'll notice that the bone rotates the those four objects and the others go along with it. Now, the problem is I don't have enough vertices in my object. That's not okay. So what I need to do is figure out how many more verts I need to make this thing work. Okay? So let's take this whole series. Let's take this and move it out of the way. All right, let's try another one. Let's try one of these. How about this one? This one has a whole lot of verts. Let's do it again. All right, hit, I'm going to hit M. Modeling material, whoops, not that. I wanted to apply it. Cool. Now, bones. Uh, this one will be called M base 2. And I'm going to create new bones. So, animation, bone tools, create bones. Make sure snapping is on. Make sure you're in the top view. I'm going to go up 5 five more and then up to what ten more and then right click so now I you can't really see them because my mesh base 2 isn't frozen and it's not see-through so let's make sure that I can see through it so hit Q select the mesh make sure your materials added to it and then make sure the mesh is show frozen and gray is turned off click OK and now I'm going to freeze it Cool. So now I need to add, well, I can't freeze it yet because I need to add the skin modifier. So once again, so M base 2, I'm going to add a modifier, um, which is SKIN skin. We are going to make sure our bones aren't frozen. They're not. I'm not mm, sure. I'm going to name them all again. They're frozen. Are they frozen. W. Move this out of the way. There. Okay. This will be B top two underscore. Uh, no, that's it. Actually, I don't need an underscore. And this will be B bottom two. And this will be B bottom nub. B bottom nub two bottom two nub yes okay cool so now they're all labeled labeling things is great you should do it all the time okay so I'm going to move this back over my object over the bone the bone is lined up oh, not perfectly there that's better we want the bone to be lined up within the middle of the object so cool so I've got this uh, set up I've got the skin ready to go. So I'm going to add bones to the skin. So add top two, bottom two, all this stuff. Click select. All right. Edit envelope. We're going to edit by vertices. And we're going to get rid of the uh, 
show uh, gizmo no what is the envelope show no envelopes cool all right great so the same sort of process we click this bone waiting tool which is this little wrench thing down here right here and then we're going to select our bones all right I'm gonna select this bone and I want it to get all of the weight for these vertices one now this one I'm going to give it 75% of the weight from this bone. If I had 75%, nothing changes because top two, which is this bone, already has 100%. So I can't change it unless I take some away. So I'm going to grab this bone. I still have these two vertices selected. And I'm going to give this bone 25% of the influence of, on these vertices. Okay? And I'm going to grab these two, and all of them, all of their weight, all of their influence is sub is attached to this uh, bottom two bone. I'm gonna give them 25% of this bone, which is top two. It's highlighted, press 25%. Okay, cool. Now all of these are probably 100% to this. Oh, no, we've got the nub, so they're not, but I'm gonna give them 100%. All right, cool. So now we've got this sort of easy red to uh, orangish yellow to red right but that what that is saying is that this bone is getting all the weight of this section and then these vertices here are sharing the weight are, are being weighted by both of these and then these vertices down here are only moving with this first section we could actually adjust it more but this is okay for now so uh let's get my Animate and I, I keep doing this in the wrong way. Really, I should be working on the uh, I want to freeze my base mesh. I want to get top, I'm gonna select my twos, and I'm gonna rotate them all by their local pivot point center. And now you can see that they're bending when they bend, when either one of these bends, it twists. Now, does that look great? No, it doesn't. You can see that it's twisting and pinching in a very specific way. It looks okay. It looks way better than the last thing, but it's weirdly pinching, right? Now, luckily, well, it seems to do it both ways. If we built this a little bit better, it would work a little bit better. So, um, let's go ahead and take top two through bottom two. I'd much rather display this as a hierarchy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There. Okay. So if I grab these, W, I'm going to hold shift, move it over to here. Okay. Take this and I'm going to move it to there. M, modeling material, add it to that. Make sure the object is show frozen gray click OK OK notice where the bending and how these vertices are built now this actually is going to bend a very specific way as we did before for this series um, I'm gonna freeze this freeze selection okay cool now I can grab these hit E uh, woof don't click E for rotate there we go okay so I'm gonna skin this real quick Unfreeze all, grab you, skin. Now we're going to do the same process, add the bones. And I'm doing this over and over and over so that you sort of see this process over and over so you can get used to it. So I've now skinned this to that. I'm going to edit the envelopes, uh, show no envelopes, and then I'm going to go through here. And I can select the bones through here. So this top bone is going to get all the influence over these eight vertices notice I'm marquee selecting so top view those eight it's going to get a hundred percent I need my little wrench thing it's right there so I'm going to make sure they get a hundred percent these are going to get 50 percent of that and 50 percent of this where these are going to get a hundred percent of that okay so now this bone um, uh, this is box 4 I'm going to freeze selection 
hit E, rotate. So you can see this starts, it still crunches in, right? So what we really need to do is go back in here, unfreeze all, select this, go to the edible poly, hit yes. Grab these vertices, hit W. Actually grab these and these and scoot them in. Like there. And then grab these two, move them here and then weld all those together and move it I'll turn snapping off move it to there all right cool turn that off go back to skin freeze selection grab the bones hit E and rotate Really, I should just rotate this one. So now we have what's called crashing, but in the grand scheme of things, it's much better than what we had before, and I put them too tight together, but you get the idea. Um, the process here is that you want to make sure that these these vertices are snapping together and that the, the crushing between them makes more sense while they're still outside verts being dealt with, okay? So... What I want you to do today is see if you can find a better way to bend this, and we'll talk more about this when we actually do our, our modeling and our uh, animation process. But for now, I want you to go ahead and create bones, bend them around, and then see if you can get it to look good. All right? All right. I hope you got a little bit out of that, and I will see you next time we go into a little more detail.